Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Josh Jensen, and for the next several minutes, I will be talking to you about the physics that make the Tesla electric car, in particular the Model S, so efficient. Can anyone tell me what is wrong with the following clip from an episode of 60 Minutes? So, what is the future like? Apparently, it's fast. Did you miss it? If you figured out that was the sound of an internal combustion engine played over the video of this electric car, you would be correct. An audio editor for the show heard the nearly silent car and decided that something must be wrong with it, so he added the sound of a BMW to cover up what he thought was the lack of audio on the tape. The amazing thing about this electric car is not only its near silence, but also its simplicity. Take a look at this skeleton of the Model S. This is all there is to the car. One AC motor in the front and two in the back. There is no transmission or gears. To go in the reverse, the car simply switches the direction of the current flowing through the motors. There are two main parts to the motor. The field coils, or stator, which is the stationary part of the motor that is magnetized, and the rotor the electrified piece that rotates, turning the wheels of the vehicle. Because of this incredible efficiency, the Tesla electric motor is able to generate far greater torque than any combustion engine. This motor is also capable of far greater RPM than conventional engines because it is not hindered by springs, valves, engine timing, and other complications that come with combustion engines. In fact, at 88% driving efficiency, the Model S is about three times as efficient as a conventional car. That efficiency is not just the product of the electric motors, but also the incredibly engineered aerodynamics of the car. Drag is defined as the forces acted upon a moving object by the air. The acceleration of an object is directly related to its weight minus drag divided by its mass, thus drag has a direct effect on acceleration. The engineers and designers at Tesla managed to reduce drag as much as possible in order to maximize acceleration and efficiency. The effect was that in 2012, Car and Driver rated the Model S the most aerodynamic car and it is easy to see why. Note the sleek, smooth lines of this gorgeous car. Look closer at how the handles are flushed with the door when not in use, eliminating the drag they would have otherwise produced. These door handles extend when pressed or when they sense the key fob nearby. Another aerodynamic feature of this car is the result of its electric nature. Air hugs the underbelly of the Model S because there is no exhaust pipes or anything but the bottom of the battery pack under the car to disturb the flow of the air and increase drag. Because of these finely engineered elements, the Model S has a drag coefficient of 0.24, third best for any production car ever. Drag coefficient is very similar to the friction coefficient that we learned about earlier this year. The lower the number, the less force it takes to move the object. This attention to detail in the motors and aerodynamics, coupled with a respect and understanding of the physics of nature, is the reason that this car is not only beautiful, but also incredibly efficient. This concludes my presentation. Are there any questions?